And I guarantee on everything I love, bro, I swear on everything I love, I guarantee that 99% of black people say the N-word more than a white man say the N-word. I guarantee that, bro. How can we call somebody racist when we say the same word to our own people? Joe Rogan apologizing for saying the N-word? <laughs> Hey man, hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications, follow your boy on IG. What is y'all doing? Your boy birthday was yesterday, man. So go go ahead and comment down below. Happy belated birthday to your boy the pan. You know, go ahead, go to Instagram, like my most recent picture. You feel me? Go crazy. You know what I'm saying? But without further ado, man, let's go ahead and get to this video, bro. Hello, friends. Um, I'm making this video to talk about the most regretful and shameful thing that I've ever had to talk about publicly. There's a video that's out that's a compilation of me saying the N-word. It's a video that's made of clips taken out of context of me of 12 years of conversations on my podcast. And it's all smushed together and it looks fucking horrible, even to me. Now, I know that to most people, there's no context where a white person is ever allowed to say that word. Never mind publicly on... Look, first off, let me tell y'all like this, dog. I don't care. Honestly, I don't care, bro. This is the thing. Dumb black people, I mean, like, honestly, it's sad that I got to say dumb because they are dumb. You feel me? But, dog, this word doesn't have no power. It doesn't hold power. A word is a word at the end of the day. That's how I look at it. You know what I'm saying? We are in America. It's freedom of speech. We can say what the we want to. You feel me? So, look dog well not we can't say everything that we want to you know what i'm saying because there's some things that we can't say like <laughs> talking about the vaccine you know what i'm saying but anyways that's besides the point but look dog it's a word you know what i'm saying i feel like it was no need to come out and apologize for a word for saying a word you feel me and that's another thing what what black people feel to realize is that when a white person said the n-word they don't have to be technically being racist. They could be singing a song. They could be quoting somebody that said this. They could be doing something, something out of blue. You feel me? And they can say the N word. And then you say, oh, you're racist. You're racist. Oh, say that word again. I beat you. Like, come on, bro. That's so unnecessary, dog. That is so unnecessary. You feel me? I done been on TikTok. If y'all don't know what TikTok is, y'all need to go ahead and get it on TikTok. You feel me? But I be on TikTok and I just be... Uh, scrolling through and I be seeing all these white people they be singing these black songs and they be the N word multiple times multiple times multiple times and they will pause you feel me they will pause what I was saying so they won't get cancelled but my thing is how come a white person cause a white person can't say the N word but a black people can say the N word to another black person a word is a word at the end of the day. I, I mean, like, bro, we come in, we say, what's up, my aunt? What's up, my aunt? Hey, hey, my aunt, my aunt, my aunt, my aunt. Come on, bro. We do it all day, all day long, bro. All day long. But soon a white person say, what's up, my dude? What's up, my aunt? It's a problem. I don't get it, bro. I don't get it. Y'all so hypocritical. If y'all so offensive about the word, don't say it at all. That goes for black people, white people. If, if it's so offensive, don't say it. You feel me? Come on, man. Let's finish. On a podcast. And I agree with that now. I haven't said it in years. But for a long time, when I would bring that word up, like if it would come up in conversation, and stay, instead of saying the N-word, I would just say the word. I thought as long as it was in context, people would understand what I was doing. That's the point. Like if he was if he said an N word intentionally in context of something or re, or quoting something that somebody said or it's just in the form of something you feel me the N word it's not just me personally I look at the N word I don't even look at it as holding power no more I feel like it don't have no power over me the pan TV you feel me it doesn't have no power over me I don't care who said the N word because at the end of the day a word is a word you know what I'm saying we I, look the N word ain't gonna I mean. I don't know if it will get you killed or not, but look, me personally, you say the N-word around me, I don't care, bro. I don't care. It's a word, bro. You could be racist with it. I don't care what you be with it, bro. I, I don't care. I mean, what what can I do? Well, I'm going to kill you for saying the N-word, but it's a word. And then people take it out of context, bro. You could be singing a song and you be like, yeah, my, yeah, my, you feel me? And then they, they'll say it, but then it'll be like, oh, yeah. so you can't say that word. Don't say that word. Only black. Like, come on, bro. It's so unnecessary, dog. So unnecessary. This whole generation takes this N word to the max, bro. They take it to the max. I, I, me personally, I don't, I'm not, I don't, I'm not even a part of this generation. I'm not. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I was born in 2003, but I don't want to be a part of this generation. I don't. I don't because I think so much differently from how that person think, how that person think, how that person think. That context was 
part of the clip we were talking about Red Fox, how Red Fox said that word on television in the 1970s and how times have changed so much since then, or about how Richard Pryor used it as one of the titles of one of his albums, or I was quoting a Lenny Bruce bit, or I was quoting a Paul Mooney bit, or a, I was talking about how Quentin Tarantino used it repeatedly in Pulp Fiction, or I was talking about how a Netflix executive, ironically, used it because he was trying to compare it to another offensive word and he said it out loud and they fired him. Not calling anybody or just saying the word out loud. I was also talking about how there's not another word like it in the entire English language because it's a word where only one group of people is allowed to use it and they can use it in so many different ways. Like if a white person says that word, it's racist and toxic that's what I'm that's what I'm saying, bro. Like it, it don't make it doesn't make sense to me how we can use it to our own people, but we because reminds you, regardless of how you look at the N-word, the N-word is the N-word. Whether you say the hard R or the regular A, you feel me? An yeah, N-word is the N-word. So as we send it to each other, what's the what's the difference? I mean, what's the difference from when a white person say it? Bro, we are a new we are in 2000 and 2020, 2022. I could never say this year right, but we are in 2022. And y'all still talking about how the N-word is racist when a white person say it. But yet, y'all allow Mexicans to say it. Y'all allow so many other different races to say it. Because trust me, I done heard plenty of Mexicans say it. And they be like, oh, I'm mixed with black. Oh, I'm mixed, I'm mixed with black. So if a white person mixed with black too, or if they got some type of black in them, they, they still can't say the word. Come on, man. But... A black person can use it and it could be a punchline. It could be a term of endearment. It could be lyrics to a rap song. It could be a positive affirmation. It's a very unusual word, but it's not my word to use. I'm well aware of that now, but for years I used it in that manner. I never used it to be racist because I'm not racist. But whenever you're in a situation where you have to say, I'm not racist, you fucked up, and I clearly have fucked up. Well, I look at it like this, bro. I mean, honestly, dude, I don't feel like you messed up at all. I don't feel like you messed up. It's nowhere, it's no way in the in the hell that you messed up. It's no way, bro. You messed up. You know what I'm saying? A word is a word. We are in today's generation where they're gonna try to cancel you for anything you do, bro. They bringing up clips from seven years ago or even past. Just to, it, bro. It's haters. That's that's what comes with this influence stuff, bro. People go hate regardless. They are gonna bring up old stuff that you done said in the past. You know what I'm saying? And it is it's whoever word to use, bro. It's a freedom of speech. Don't let nobody tell you can't say something, and don't let no black person tell you, you can't say nothing, bro. You can say anything you want to say, bro. Anything you want to say, bro. I don't care. And I'm black telling you this, bro. You can say anything you want to say, bro. I don't care. These black people, they don't even know what they be talking about half of the times, bro. They really don't. Half of my half of my culture don't know what they talking about half of the time. They don't, bro. And then some of the white folks that agree with black people say, oh, I'm not supposed to say this because it's offensive to them, bro. They wasn't even born back then. So how is it offensive to them? It, that's what I'm saying. Like, it, it can't be offensive to somebody that was born in 2003. It can't be. It can't be offensive to somebody that was born in 2014. How can it be offensive to you, my brother? How? You're like, bro, you're like 10 years old. Go play the game or something. Go play basketball. Go beat your meat or something. I mean, like, bro, do something with your life. Stop worrying about another person, out what coming out of another person's mouth. Because at the end of the day, you listen to all these type of different rappers. I could pull up any rap song right now. I could pull up any rap song. And I, I dang, I just hit the, I just knocked the wind out of myself, bro. <laughs> I could pull up any rap song right now. And I guarantee the end word will be in the beginning, the middle, the end. It'll be in some type of way, some, some type of shape or form. And the crazy thing about it, half of these rappers use the end word to another person or to diss another person. But when a white person uses it, it's so racist. It's this, it's that, it's all this, it's this. That person racist. They not supposed to use it. Like, bro, man, we man, don't let no black person tell you what not to do, bro. You you are your own person, bro. You are your own person. Don't let nobody tell you what not to do. The only person that could judge you is God. You think God finna send you to hell and say, oh, well, you remember you said the N-word? That's offensive to black people, so I gotta send you to hell. Like, no, he not doing that, bro. Like, come on. You just need to, like, some people just not mature. And I'm sorry, Joe Rogan, that you even had to apologize. We all know you're not racist. Look how many black people, look how many black legends that you done had on your show. 
on your podcast. You had so many black, wonderful legends. You know what I'm saying? And I'm pretty sure if they felt like you was racist, they wouldn't even hop on that show, bro. You had the OGs on your show before. OG black people that been in this rap game. If they felt like you wasn't racist, trust them. Believe me, they won't hop on that show. They will not have hopped on it. So we know you're not racist. You just talking to, right now, you just talk to immature people. Immature people. People who feel like a word has power over them. People who feel like a white person that say the word go whip them. That's the type of people you're talking to right now. You need to talk to more mature people. And that's my intention to express myself in this video. To say, there's nothing I can do to take that back. I wish I could. Obviously, that's not possible. I do hope that, if anything, that this can be a teachable moment. Because I never thought it would ever be taken out of context and put in a video like that. And now that it is, holy shit, it looks bad. And it it's part of also me doing this podcast for thousands of hours, thousands of episodes, over 12 years. I've said a lot of fucking stupid shit, which is fine when you're talking about most things but not when you're talking about race. And there's another clip that I have to address. There's a clip from 11 years ago. I was telling a story in the podcast about how me and my friend Tommy and his girlfriend, we got really high, we were in Philadelphia, and we went to go see Planet of the Apes. And we didn't know where we were going, we just got dropped off by a cab, and we got dropped off in this all black neighborhood. And I was trying to make the story entertaining. And I said, we got out and it was like we were in Africa. It's like we were in Planet of the Apes. <laughs> I did not, nor would I ever say that black people are apes, but it sure fucking sounded like that. <laughs> it did sound like that. Look, me personally, I would have took that. I wouldn't take that offensive. You feel me? Because it's funny, like. I'm not racist. I'm not. I'm not. I don't. I don't even know why I just said that. But I'm not racist. I. I, just, I don't know why I said it again. But anyways, that's that's the point. No, look, it, it's funny because I. I done heard black people call other black people monkeys, gorillas. <laughs> like I done heard all of this. You feel me? Like oh, shut up, you monkey. Like I done heard all this. Come on, man. I'm. I'm be honest with y'all, bro. Black people be black. Black people be racist towards black people, bro. We say the most racist things towards black people. And trust me, black people be racist towards white people too. We say the most racist things towards white people. Sometimes we'll come out the blue and say, ah, you crack. Like, we'll, we'll say some, we'll say some out, out of portion stuff. So I feel like black people should not get mad when a white person do the same thing. But what you just said, Joe Rogan, I feel like that was just honestly like, come on, man. I, that was a joke. That was honestly a joke. You trying to make the story intent. And me personally, I would never took that offensive. I would not. I would not. I feel like we in a, I feel like we in Planet of the Apes. It, I see why people took it out of context. I see why it sounded so bad. Let me just finish, cause I mean I see why that sounded so bad. That did sound pretty bad, but I would never took it offensive. And I immediately afterwards said, "That's a racist thing to say." Planet of the Apes wasn't even in Africa. I was just saying. There's a lot of black people there. But then I went on to talk about what a positive experience it was and how much fun it was to go to see this movie in a black neighborhood. It wasn't a racist story, but it sounded terrible. And like I said, you can have clunky stories about anything, but not about race. And so I deleted that whole podcast, but obviously somebody made a clip out of it and taken out of context it looks terrible but it looks terrible even in context it's a fucking idiotic thing to say and i was just trying to be entertaining i certainly wasn't trying to be racist and i certainly would never want to offend someone for entertainment with something as stupid as racism my hope is that look i can't go back in time and change what i've said i wish i could obviously that's not possible but I do hope that this can be a teachable moment for anybody that doesn't realize how offensive that word can be coming out of a white person's mouth in context or out of context. My sincere and humble apologies. I wish there was more that I could say, but all of this is just me talking from the bottom of my heart. It makes me sick watching that video, but Hopefully, at least some of you 
will accept this and understand where I'm coming from. My apologies and much love. My sincere, deepest apologies. Okay. Yo, Rogan, first off, say your apologies, bro. Say your apologies. Say your apologies for the mature people. I mean, for the... And, and, oh, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. Just say your apologies, bro. I was trying to say save it for like the material, immature, but it didn't sound right coming out. So anyways, look, my whole thing is, and I'm finna get off this video, dog. Uh, Joe Rogan, first off, bro, love your podcast, man. Keep doing what you're doing. That's first off. Second of all, you should never have to come out and say that you're not racist. No, everybody knows that you're not racist. The immature people that's in this world and it's sadly to say that some of these people are very very immature they could be 30 years old but act like a 12 year old you know what i'm saying so i'm sorry that you have to even deal with this the n-word is not offensive okay we are in the year of 2022 you know what i'm saying black people need to grow up you need to leave it alone okay we wasn't even born for all my young black people bro we wasn't even born back when the word was power when the world had when the world had power when the word had power for the um for the white people saying it to us we wasn't even born back then so why are we so offensive why are we so offended of the word like why are we so offended bro we said non-stop to each other y'all gotta look at y'all self before y'all look at another white man saying it like even with the killing bro like i said y'all y'all so focused on the white man pulling the gun when a black person pulled a gun more than a white man pulled a gun all black people and I guarantee on everything I love, bro, I swear on everything I love, I guarantee that 99% of black people say the N-word more than a white man say the N-word. I guarantee that, bro. How can we call somebody racist when we say the same word to our own people? To our own people. It's not racist. All I'm saying is it's not racist. It's not racist. It's not. So y'all need to grow up. Y'all need to honestly grow up. Be more mature about the situation. And bro, leave Joe Rogan alone, man. This dude ain't do nothing wrong. This man make entertaining podcasts. And yeah, y'all bringing up old clips from 11. Bro, who even got time to do that, bro? Go get some money. Why are you sitting here looking at Joe Rogan podcast from 11 years ago, 10 years ago? How can you even go that far deep into this man's channel? It's 2022. I'm never going that deep into a man channel just to expose him. <laughs> you sound goofy. Anyways, man, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit that like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Follow your boy on IG. Go like the most recent picture, y'all. Go like that picture because that picture was heat. You feel me? Oh, my mama. You know what I'm saying? That picture was dead, uh, dead heat. You feel me? So go ahead and like that picture, man. Follow your boy on IG. I love each and every one of y'all, bro. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.